So how many times have you guys went to GitHub, saw a cool project and just started looking through the code? Now, usually the best way to look at the code is to clone the repository inside of your computer and then use VS Code or whichever editor you like to check out the code. But there is a way better way to do this. All you gotta do is go to whichever repository you want and press dot. That's right, just press dot or period. And as soon as you do that, the uh, URL is gonna change from github.com to github.dev, and then it's gonna include the repository name. And now you can traverse through that entire project inside of VS Code inside of the browser. This is the app.view file. You got the index.js. If, if you want to search for different files, maybe you wanna go to the Babel config, right? You can press command P and that's going to open up the command palette and you know, you can search for whatever you want. This is basically VS code inside of your web browser inside of GitHub. Additionally, you can also set up all the key bindings that you have in VS code. So if you go to your local VS code, there's like a key bindings.json file, right? So you can press command shift P, look for keyboard shortcuts.json. And if you open it up, it'll be empty. And you know, you can just paste your keyboards uh, key bindings here. You can also paste your settings.json file here. This is exactly why I'm able to get the same Vim commands that I have. Now, obviously not everything is one-to-one. -one, so there are some commands that don't work. Like you can't necessarily use the terminal, but if you just want to ever explore a code base, this is the best way to do so. You can also install different extensions. Like I installed the Vim extension. I installed the view uh, syntax highlighting extension. I installed the file icons. So if I go here, and just check out the files and notice that I got all the icons going on over here. So this is basically VS code inside of github.com. All you gotta do is go to a repository, right? It's gonna be usually github.com, right? And all you gotta do is press dot. And if you don't wanna press dot, you can just go to the URL and press change the dot com to dot dev and the same thing will happen. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing for more suboptimal content just like this. I'll catch you guys next time.